and welcome to WCPO Lounge X. I'm Brian Neese, and I'm back here at the Lodge KY in Dayton, Kentucky. Today, I'm joined by Safari Room out of Nashville, uh, Tennessee. Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. You guys are in town playing at the Southgate House, uh, promoting your new album. We're going to hear uh, some music from that album right now. Uh, tell me the first song we're going to hear. Uh, the first song is called One Day Here. This is One Day Here with Safari Room for WCPO Lounge X.
myself all day long And now I'm tired Can you please take me home? I thought that I would be alone But they're still waiting back for me at home Was Safari Room with Antelope. Uh, we're here at the Lodge KY in Dayton, Kentucky with Safari Room. Guys, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for playing some new music. It's great to have you. Thank you for having us. You guys are uh, on the road. You're performing songs off, off your, new, your debut full length. Um, you guys have been around for a while, though. This isn't your first release. Um, it seems like you guys, you guys all met in college. Uh, tell me about that experience. Yeah, we all uh, are from different cities and states, but we met in Nashville, Tennessee. We all went to uh, Belmont University. Um, Hunter and I are the same year. Chris and Austin are the year below us, um, but we don't hold that against them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we all uh, did music school. Um, we're definitely playing in different groups and um, the incestuous nature of the music community in Nashville, um, yeah. being a part of that. Um, but Safari Room came out of uh, my writings and stuff, and I brought these guys along on it, and it's been, um, we've been kind of going hot and heavy since about 2018. Right, okay. Um, putting a couple, like maybe a release before that, but really trying to make stuff happen cool. a few years ago. Um, so this album you've kind of been working on for a little bit, uh, um, and then it drops last year, last summer, What's it like releasing your debut album in a global pandemic? Um, that was tricky, because I think the, we kept the same release date um, amidst the pandemic. We're like, we might as well just open up the door um, and let folks in rather than holding on to it and waiting. Um, I think the, that's kind of the nice thing about streaming is that it's kind of easy to just put records up. And so, um, but I feel like the emotion behind it, it was definitely difficult. Uh, just like, oh, it's kind of like releasing to nobody, but at the same time. And it's like, we'll get to go tour when we can go tour, which is happening right. now. Um, but also knowing that like people will find their way to it and we'll make sure that happens eventually. And so um, we were just grateful to have had the record recorded, mixed and mastered well before um, stuff shut down so that we were able to still stick with our release plan. So. Now, is this, is it, you mentioned it's down on streaming. Is it on physical media as well? So we have CDs, um, but due to the vinyl kind of crisis, <laughs> there's, uh, we... Um, Big delay on it. Yeah, too. we put um, masters in 
like four or five months ago, and they gave us an ETA of uh, April 2022. So it's coming. So it's coming. All yeah. right. So we have pressings. I'll go that, ahead and mark my calendar. Yeah, exactly. So we have pressings that will be available um, probably by the time our next record's out. So cool. Which. Uh, it's just how it goes, I suppose. So uh, you mentioned you all uh, uh, bet in, in college, but one of you is from Dayton, right? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back to Ohio. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Or right, we're technically we're in Kentucky still, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and you guys have played in in the Cincinnati area a couple times. Yeah, we played at the Hub um, back in 2019, and then uh, I think later in 2019 we played at Northside Tavern. Gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Both great, great yeah, both places. Great venue. Yeah. So, uh, you're here uh, after this. You're going over to the Southgate House to play. Yep. Uh, also a great venue. So many great venues in town. Um, but, I, you know, you guys have finally made it back on the road. You're playing uh, a lot of you know, weekends and little bits here and there. How's it feel to get back out there? It's been rejuvenating. Um, we did a run up to the Northeast um, mid August and it was like just amazing to be back and be playing shows. Um, we played a really big show in uh, Nashville right before um, doing that and kind of even that seeing old friends that we haven't seen in a long time and getting to play music for people uh, was just really wonderful. Um, and hopefully everything kind of keeps going in the positive direction. Well, I guess not the positive, more the negative testing, um, but right. the, the, the good direction uh, so that we can keep doing this. Um, and don't have to have kind of like echoes of last year. But I mean, we'll see what happens. But I think we're optimistic that things will keep running and uh, kind of filling our cup back up and hopefully filling the cup of people who come and see us, so. You mentioned, you mentioned the number of dates you have uh, mm -hmm. across a few months. They're kind of split up. Yeah. How many dates was it total? I think it's like 27. 27 shows yeah. in, in, a, in a month or two, right? Yeah, well, so it's spanning from August to December. So, so, it's kind so of like, throughout the fall. Yeah, it's, it's throughout the fall. So, so yeah, safari, we're doing like, safari Room Fall Tour. Yep, exactly. It's the Look Great. Me Up When You Get There uh, 2021 tour. So, nice. yeah. yeah, you've got, it looks like you're booked out close to the end of the year. Yep. Uh, and I imagine we'll see more from you next year as well. Absolutely. We love um, uh, playing in this area, so it'll be... We'll be yeah, in fact, you're coming back in just a little bit, so we'll see you again yeah. soon. Yeah, so we're playing at uh, Radio Artifact on October 10th, so that'll be an equally great time. Yeah, that's just so. a couple weeks away from, yeah. from our taping. Yep, yep, yep. Um, well, I want to get back into some more music. Uh, the next song is also, these are all from that album, Look Me Up When You Get There, uh, which you, everybody could find on streaming. Vinyl coming early next year. Uh, this next song is called How It Goes. We're here with Safari Room for WCPL Lounge.
stand there absolute while you keep crumbling within from all the pain. So this is how it goes. I'll stay now.
That was Glass Box by Safari Room off their debut record, Look Me Up When You Get There. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in and playing uh, some of these great songs. We didn't even hear the single, which yeah. you've got a music video for, so there's we even do. more great songs off this record. Yep, yep, yep. What's the name of this, the, like, the, the big single? The debut single is uh, Young Water. Yep, and so great. that's the one with uh, the fun music video. Yeah, so you can <laughs> check out that music video. Uh, and uh, best place to get all of your uh, your tour dates, your uh, downloads, what's the best place to find more? Yeah, about? Uh, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, at Safari underscore room. Um, usually when you start typing, it'll pop up. Um, otherwise, www.safariroomband.com. Uh, we've got online store. We've got a place for uh, tour dates and all that jazz. So um, that's where you can find us. Great. Well, you heard that there. If you, want, if you liked what you heard here from Safari Room, uh, go out and check out some more. For WCPO Lounge X, thanks for playing. Thanks for having us, Brian and Jason.